Since the last CMM Supporters Evening back in May 2020, we've had an unusual, challenging, yet ultimately fulfilling year. Back then we mentioned Operation Isolation, in which we tried to stay in touch with those we knew who were alone. Annie has been our great champion in this, sending emails, e-cards and making phone calls to a number of people, as well as sending CMM Choir update emails. Roger has also regularly spent time on the phone calling a number of people. It has also been the year of Zoom, with our weekly CMM office team meetings, EBRG support group, CMM trustees, as well as more recently occasional Zoom rehearsals. Roger has been able to drop in on the occasional choir rehearsal further afield and has even attended a church coffee morning or two. At the end of our supporters video last year, we included our first ever foray into socially distanced performances with the song Chords of Tenderness. Since then, there have been far more, including When I Survey and our first large scale collaborative video, O Worship the King which were both part of a longer video featuring Roger's teaching on psalms, hymns and songs. It has been so good to have many of our wonderful friends involved. 2020 was supposed to be the year of torn curtain for us, but sadly that was not to be. We managed one performance in Kidderminster, but that was it. And all music weeks were cancelled. But the enemy was never going to win out completely. And Dave Gidney created some wonderful Bible studies that were then turned into video teaching sessions. And these are still available on our YouTube channel. Another of the things that we've done in lockdown has worked very hard on our behind the scenes things. Tim has spent a lot of time uploading our sheet music, our anthems and our musicals onto sheet music websites um, such as JW Pepper or Sheet Music Plus because this is simply the way that most people find their sheet music nowadays. And also Amy has done an amazing job completely revamping and creating a new version of the CMM website. Over the last year, one of the things I've mainly been responsible for is creating the new CMM website. We have been amazingly supported over the years by our webmaster, Alex, and together we wanted to create an online platform that would support the ministry going forward, but that would allow us to easily change or edit things without giving Alex the extra work. The new website has most of the content of the old one but allows us to have a few extra things such as enabling us to have all our mailings and updates in one place. We also have pages dedicated to Heart and Soul and CMM Choir, as well as our new school package, which we are currently in the process of setting up. The website also has some of our usual links, um, such as our shop, um, which you'll find on the homepage and all of our other pages as well. As I mentioned, one of the benefits is that we will now be able to edit the website as soon as things change, which we hope will mean that you will always have access to our latest news, events and information. The website address is exactly the same as it was www.cmm.org.uk. So head on over, have a look, see what you think, and uh, hopefully you'll find everything that you need there. Without doubt, the biggest project of lockdown 2020 was the unexpected arrival of a new musical, Three Wise Camels. The sudden cancellation of a packed diary of events meant that in the quiet, Roger's creative side switched on and a Christmas musical was born. The musical was based on a play by Jane Hicks and artwork was produced by her husband, George Hicks, with further lyrics by Alison Fugel and Jane herself. The office team then became further involved with Tim and Annie creating backing tracks alongside our producer, Chris King. And Helen and Amy were involved in the recording and proofreading stage. We had some wonderful soloists in Jenny, Bob and Simon, and we were privileged that the temporary easing of lockdown meant a studio recording could take place. Although we did very much miss our church recording event. Of course, it was impossible to stage a premiere in person so instead we managed to pull together a YouTube video with all of the different songs, including the We Three Kings finale, 
featuring so many of our wonderful friends. And we're so thankful for all those people who gave up a tremendous amount of time to record videos for us. In the autumn, Roger made his first foray into Facebook Live, and he has quickly gotten into his stride, regularly reaching over 150 views. He's accompanied by Mary, who copes with it valiantly. The Heart and Soul Internet radio show continued throughout lockdown and Roger has found Zoom to be a wonderful way of connecting with interviewees across the world. In 2021 alone, Heart and Soul has featured interviews with J. John, Philippa Hanna, Rob Parsons, Gavin Calver, Michael Card and a number of others. We're so grateful to Roger's co-presenters, Debs, Graham and Dave, as well as all at Brumside Radio for their continued work and support. After Christmas, we began to focus on Lent and Easter, and we are thrilled that Roger's creativity has continued beyond Three Wise Camels to embrace an Easter collection. One day we plan to release a Songs of Easter, much in the same vein as our Songs of Christmas from five years ago. Throughout Lent, we released a number of videos, including an arrangement of See How He Dies and the new hymn tune for Jesus Lives, featuring over a hundred participants, as well as lyric videos for other songs and accompanying teaching. It was great fun holding Zoom rehearsals for We Three Kings and Jesus Lives, and this has since developed further. So back on the Monday before Easter, we held our first musical sing-along on Zoom. Annie created some wonderful videos using PowerPoint, and over 85 devices joined in to sing through Jerusalem Joy. We think this may be the first of many such evenings. Finally, since last year's Supporters' Evening, we are delighted that a wonderful network of regional representatives has begun to take shape. They really are an incredible group of people. We've really missed seeing our friends and being able to minister to people face to face. But we hope and pray that the work we have done behind the scenes and the new skills we have developed this year will help us to reach many more in the future. <laughs>